Hey everyone, Jeff Drews, BimTM here. Um, I've been getting some questions lately, or some confusion, hearing some confusion around uh, duplicating views in Revit, and I guess I just want to do a quick training today, kind of go through the different options, what they all mean, um, and kind of show you when you can use them in the future. Uh, Alright, so this is my, I put it together a view here. Uh, we have some walls, we have a door, a detail line, some model lines, uh, a room tag, detail items, a uh, filled region, a match line, we have a section cut, some dimensions, and a couple grids. I wanted to throw a little bit of everything in there, kind of show what a typical plan situation would look like, sprinkling everything in there. Um, so if I right click on my view and I duplicate, or I hit duplicate view, you can see this little, these little three options pop up. We have duplicate, duplicate with detailing, and duplicate as a dependent. I think most people understand these two, uh, so I'll go through those ones really quick. So I'm going to duplicate this one. Uh, I'm going to rename it real quick as duplicate. Um, as you can see, uh, a lot of stuff went away. So it kept all of our modeled elements or anything in here that is dependent on view range. So we have walls, uh, our door, our model lines, our match line, our grids, and our section cut. They all have tops and bottoms to them. Um, things would disappear and show up as they change in, in your model. Um, so if I changed where this door is located in height, it might disappear because of our view range. Whereas uh, like our filled regions and match line, or filled regions and detail items and text and that kind of thing is really has nothing to do with view range. Uh, they're just view specific elements. So if I right click and duplicate view as, or duplicate with detailing, you can see that it, it brought everything across. It's gonna duplicate the detailing, which is all the view specific elements. I'm gonna rename this one real quick. So I think those two are pretty straightforward. Should probably spell that right. Detail. Um, and then lastly, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna duplicate view as a dependent. And I'm gonna do that twice. You can see they pop up, or they pop below the one that I just duplicated on. So I guess, what is the difference here? These views are all independent from each other. If I make a change here and add some text, it does not show up here. It does not show up here. These ones are dependent of this view. So this is what we call our parent view and these are the children. Uh, I'm gonna rename this one West. I'm gonna rename this one East. So if you ever need to break up your views on sheets, this is the proper way to do this. You're gonna do your host view and your children views. Um, so if I'm gonna go my east view, I could bring in my crop region. I'm gonna pull it in like this and show the east side of my match line. Oops, that's my annotation. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with the west. And you can do this with a scope box. That's probably the proper way of doing that. We can, sh we can show that in a, a different training. So now you can see um, if I drop some text in here, it does not show up in these ones again. But if I go to my west side, you'll see that it does show up. And if I go to my parent view here and I edit the boundary of this uh, filled region draw something in like that and I go to my east side view you'll see oops sorry west side view you'll see that that does show so this is definitely how you're going to want to split up your views um, if you have east and west or quadrants or anything like that it makes it really easy you can draw everything on one overall, and then essentially you're gonna make little windows 
of similar to AutoCAD terminology where you're creating viewports. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions uh, regarding this, feel free to add something in the comments or shoot me a message or an email. Um, and we'll be happy to follow this up with some additional trainings or we'll answer your questions. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.